So, just midnight on an olive's brow. It's got a banjo. service. A lot of churches have sunrise service. And so, thinking, you know, over the years, almost 60 of them, I've looked at many sunrises in many locations. I remember looking at the sunrise on cold and cool mornings as I helped a farmer blow cattle into the pens to head to market, watching the steam rise off land, and smoke seemed to flow from the noses of the cattle. Wearing gloves on her hands for warmth, her collars pulled up around her neck, and then the sun comes up and begins to warm the land and the air. It brings a new day. For those times sitting in a boat on Lake Michigan, trolling for Lake, San, or Lake Trout or Salmon, waiting for it to get light enough to see those poles bend and start bouncing. Sunrises in a deer blind, perched up in a tree, waiting on that buck of a lifetime or tucked in the ground against a tree waiting for that first gobble of the morning to pierce the woods, waiting patiently for the sun, watching the sun rise over Tel Aviv, standing down at the Mediterranean, trying to see east, but all the buildings were blocking us, so the sun was way up before we ever saw it, but we were waiting for the sunrise in Israel, waiting for what that day would bring, a day of excitement, a day of adventure, I can also remember other sunrises and other emotions. I remember helping clean up the wreckage of a house after a tornado in Littleton, seeing the sun come up and seeing the light and all the destruction, the loss of life, property. Other sunrises bring different memories. 
the day after my stepdad's death, unable to sleep, up at the crack of dawn, thinking, remembering, asking why. Sunrise brings back many emotions to the surface for me. And as I have no doubt, you look back at the sunrises in your life. Your stories, though different from mine, are all familiar. We have times of excitement, times of disappointment, time of elation, times of despair. Sunrises seem to hold the ability to get us thinking about the past, to remembering. It helps us to think about the present by meditating on it, or thinking about the future, contemplating. 2,000 years ago, there was a sunrise. And I have no doubt of a similar appearance to this one. And I know it brought with it many emotions. Let's read from God's Word, the account of the sunrise. John 20, 1 to 18. Early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran and she found Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved. And she said, they have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Peter and the other disciple started out for the tomb and they were both running. But the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He stooped and looked in and he saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter arrived and he went inside. And he also noticed the linen wrappings laying there, while the cloth that had covered Jesus' head was folded up and lying apart from the other wrappings. Then the disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For until then they still had not understood the scriptures that said that Jesus must rise from the dead. Then they went home. Mary was standing outside the tomb crying. And as she wept, she stooped and looked in, and she saw two white-robed angels, one sitting at the head and the other at the foot of the place where the body of Jesus had been lying. Dear woman, why are you crying? The angels asked her. Because you've taken away my Lord, she replied, and I don't know where you've put him. She turned to leave, and she saw someone standing there. It was Jesus, but she did not recognize him. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked. Who are you looking for? She thought he was the gardener. She said, sir, if you've taken him away, tell me where you have put him and I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus said. She turned to him and cried out, Rabboni, which is Hebrew for teacher. You don't cling to me, Jesus said, for I haven't yet ascended to the Father. Go find my brothers and tell them I'm ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene found the disciples and told them, I have seen the Lord. And she gave them this message. So in that passage of scripture, on the sunrise so long ago, Mary, often like we do, was going through a wide range of emotions. She's gone through sorrow, fear, anger, disappointment. She had watched as Jesus was tried. She had watched as he was abused. She would watched as he was beaten. She watched as he had died. And she'd been there when he said, it is finished. And now on this cool morning so long ago, as the sun rose and warmed the earth, put yourself in her shoes. Hope is gone. The one that you believe to be the Savior is dead, brutally killed before your eyes. Feel her pain as they took the body from the cross. Share her emotions as a prepared body for the burial. Imagine how her mind must have been swirling with all the pictures and the events of the past few days, just trying to put it all together. But then she gets to the tomb. And new emotions flood in. Anxiety. The stone's missing. What has happened? Where have they taken him? And her sorrow turns to even a deeper despair. To make things worse, she goes inside the tomb, and his battered, beaten body's not there. Crying. Sobbing. Where have you put him? She asked the man she believed to be the gardener. I will go and get him. Please just tell me where he is. 
And Jesus calls her name, Mary. Mary. And suddenly, the morning changed. The sunrise was different now. She's looking at Jesus. She's talking to Jesus right there with Jesus. New emotions start flowing in. Wonder, love, elation, joy. He is alive. He is risen. Imagine what must be going through her mind at that point. The question she must have. Emotions. She's just seen the risen Lord. He's not dead. He's alive. He's alive and well. She, for the first time, finished. Since he had said the words, it is finished. She understood. Maybe in some small way. What he meant, she starts to understand. Why it all had to happen. The sunrise that turned out different than it began. And sunrises bring with it many emotions. But this sunrise, S-O-N, rise, changed the world. In his words, it is finished. Jesus removed the fear that comes with death. He removes the penalty of sin, brings with him the joy of salvation. This sunrise brings redemption, restoration, forgiveness. That sunrise fulfilled all the laws. This sunrise was different than all the others, those before, those since. Mary came to tomb at sunrise so long ago, expecting to see a dead teacher. She found a risen Savior. What did you come here today to see? What did you come here to celebrate? So what is your attitude today towards Jesus? So what emotions are you feeling today? The stone has been rolled away. This is resurrection reality for you today. Jesus is not dead. Jesus is alive. And because he lives, we can live. Amen. He died for you. And he is alive for you. So if you'll join me as we stand and sing together and raise our voices to celebrate our risen Savior, number 216, Christ arose.
merciful, gracious God, we give thanks for this indescribable gift you've given us. The laying down your life in order that we might live. And Lord, as we celebrate that day, as we celebrate it every day of our lives, your resurrection, because without you, we are dead. Today, Lord, we seek your blessing upon us. May our services bring you glory and honor. And Lord, I ask you at this time, bless the food and those who are about to eat it. Strengthen our hearts, strengthen our minds. Open our spirits to be more receptive to the word in order that when we might be a better example in a broken world of the goodness and the light that you are. So we will praise, we will honor, and we will glorify you today in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. Amen. And you're all welcome to go in the back, tell them you're 15 minutes early and they better have any food. Let me get it out of the <laughs> Or just go back, get some coffee, get some juice, get some milk. Well, I have a race. You're going to win. I'm done racing. You're going to win. The walker forgets. The walker forgets. Yeah, you're going to race. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yesterday I was up at 3 30. Yeah. Yeah. I almost. Yeah. 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 Y